So hi friends, uh, part of my cancer treatment and the, and the, and the foundation of any cancer treatment, uh, actually a lot of treatments should be the fever bath. So can you do it at home? Yes, you can do it at home because today I'm doing it by myself. I just took my um, temperature and it is 100. And I've been in this fever bath for five minutes. So it's in a regular bathtub. And what you're going to need is a tub where you can actually submerge. I want to show you, I'm fully submerged. And you want to be able to cover your chest and everything all the way up to your neck. You also need a good thermometer. Um, this one says that I'm in 108.8 degree water. Now when I started, it was actually 112. 111 to 112 is optimal, but when you're first starting out, you're gonna to wanna to fill up the tub, again, to your neck, with at least, if this is your first time, 100, between 106 and 108 degree. As soon as you get in it, your the, the, the temperature of the tub is going to drop, just because your body is uh, holding a lot of cold, so to speak and it's gonna drop the temperature. So as soon as I got in this 112 degree water, it already dropped, as you see, to 108.8. .8. Because I've been doing fever baths for such a long time, I like to keep the temperature between 111 and 113. And I know Now, I know that sounds scary, but um, you will gradually build up, the more you do these fever baths, your tolerance to the heat. And the bottom line is, what you wanna do is spike a temperature. And your goal is to get at least 102. When you reach 102, you're going to look at your clock. And every five minutes, you're going to take your temperature with your thermometer. You don't need a lot of equipment. You just need a thermometer. And then every five minutes, you're going to take your temperature. And as soon as it hits 102, then you're going to count 20 minutes. You want to stay in the bath for at least 20 minutes. That is optimal to boost your immune system and to build uh, yeah, your immune system up, get your white blood cells going, and very optimal for killing cancer. Now when I was at Eden Valley, I got up to 104 all the time, but it just seems like lately I'm just not able to get up to 104. But uh, this is really good for COVID, this is good for any type of tick-borne illness, any parasite illness, it's good for uh, people who have diabetes, um, any type of condition, but there are parameters, counterindications, like if you have problems with neuropathy, if you're a diabetic and you have no feeling, this is not for you. If you have any cardiac issues, uh, now I have cardiac issues, but um, I've been tolerating it really, really well, and they don't want my temperature to get up past 104 because of my cardiac issues. So if you've got cardiac issues, you don't want those high temperatures like one, past 104 because that's a counterindication because it's too hard on your heart. Okay, so I'm up with a little bit hotter water and all you need to do is just sit there and every five minutes start taking your temp. And now we're up to 109 and I can feel it already. So one of the things that you're gonna keep handy is ice water. And when you hit your 102, you're going to start putting the cold ice water on your head because we want to protect the brain from these high temperatures. It will not have an effect on your temperature. It is just uh, really protecting it from overheating. And if you have cardiac issues, you can always use a cold compress on your chest also to make sure that um, you're okay. Now it's time for me to take another reading. I've been in here about eight minutes. So my temperature now is 102.6. So now it's time to start putting on the cold. And I tell you what, the cold is going to save you because your first instinct, wanting to jump out of this horrific, painful heat. And um, so you're going to need cold to your head. And uh, keep two washcloths. When I was at Uchi Pines, they actually wrapped my head. That really helps, you, or they can put a uh, you can put a, a washcloth actually around your neck to keep yourself cool, and that helps a lot. And you see, 
you can do this by yourself. Now, I have a tendency to get very lightheaded and dizzy, and the only time I need help is getting out of the tub. But I have a, a massage table that's really close, so I can just fall on the massage table and kind of pass out. So now I'm going to wait for another five minutes. Temperature of the water is still pretty hot. It's almost 110. And you can add more water. I tell you, when you add water, it's very torturous. But as long as you're at 102, that's good. And then you start watching the clock. And now in five minutes, I'm going to retake my temperature. And I'm going to sustain 102 for four readings. So again, no matter how hard it is, keep the water up to your neck and keep your hands in the water. It's going to be very hard. I put mine out and, you know, I'm putting the cold the cold on me and then, you know, I'm, I'm dipping it in, in here and yeah, I'm going like this. But as soon as you're done doing that, you need to put your hands back in the water. It's going to be hard, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So the other thing you have to remember is you can drink water, you can hydrate, but it has to be warm water because you're going to change the oral temperature of your of your mouth, your oral mucosa. So be very careful when you drink the water, time it so that it is around your temperature taking and make sure it's warm. You can actually add ginger to your, you know, you can make ginger tea and that will actually internally, chemically help raise your temperature without doing a lot. And I'm gonna be truthful. I'm waiting for the next five minutes and it gets really hard. The temperature will really be difficult. It's nice when you have someone with you, but you, we know we already have Jesus. So just pray a lot. I listen to music, I listen to videos, anything that will uplift you and inspire you because it's really hard, even after 10 minutes. And I think, it, yeah, I could probably do another temperature check. And don't worry about it going up or down too much. I'm actually at uh, 103.7. Oh, you see how quickly it goes up? And that's why I feel so awful. So again, 20 minutes. And five more minutes I can check. 103.7. Oh, I'm almost to the four, 104 mark. So I'm really going up there quickly. You may not reach even over 104 for your first time, and that's okay. But the goal is at least 102. If you're not reaching it, put more hot water in your tub. Just put more hot water in your tub. Now, of course, if you have somebody who can be with you, especially when you start doing these fever baths, it's always optimal because you don't know what's going to happen. You could get really lightheaded and almost pass out in the tub. I have been doing this for a long time, what, two and a half years, two years, so I'm okay. And they have somebody checking, knocking on the door all the time saying, are you okay, are you okay? Uh, and I have my phone here. So just know that when you first start this, you might want to have somebody with you or have a phone near you if you are totally alone, you know. Um, it's not that these are dangerous, but the one thing is if your blood pressure drops, it can drop. And mine does. Some people, they don't. It has no effect, but mine does. Okay, it is time. Another. And you have to get yourself a, a waterproof thermometer. Around 3.7. So now it's gonna be time to cool down. And what you're gonna do is start letting the water out slowly, and you're gonna start adding cold water. And please stay laid down if you haven't done this before. Cold water, just keep adding it with the, with the bathtub open. And now you can really pour on the water. Oh, it's going to feel really good. Oh, man. And it doesn't have to be ice cold, just cold water. It could take 10 minutes. 
to bring it down. And you want to get, I'm going to do a wrap. So I want to, I don't want to get too cold. So some people, when they do their fever baths, they just get out and they're done and they go lay down for an hour. But I've actually been wrapping myself up so I continue the fever treatment by sweating. That actually is more effective. So we don't want our temperature to drop too much. So you can, I don't put ice cold water on my head. It's like cool. And I'm filling the bathtub up with cool water. I'm just slowly bring down my temperature. Because I still want it to be up when I get into my, my wrap. So a couple things to remember is um, it takes about 10 minutes to cool down. Don't make it super cold. Take your time. You might feel lightheaded during this stage. You can drink a lot of water now. It can be tepid, not cold. Rehydration is the key because you're going to be sweating out a lot when you do the wrap. And then take your temperature again after about five, six minutes of cool down. Let's see where you're at. I'm still 102.7. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to get out and I'm going to dry myself out off. I'm going to take my clothes off and then I'm going to wrap myself up in a white sheet. Um, because I've been doing these fever baths a lot, this whole process takes about, for me, 35 minutes. Um, when I first started, it took about an hour because when you're first starting out, it may take a while to raise your temperature. Mine can raise pretty quickly, and one of the keys to raising your temperature quickly, again, is start your baths hotter, okay? Okay, now I'm going to get out and dry myself off. Make sure you wrap your head, and this is where I'm really lightheaded, so it takes me some time to do this by myself. Make sure you're dry, keep your head warm, and wrap yourself in that white sheet. Lay yourself on a bed. But make sure you put plastic down because you're going to sweat a lot. And it's going to be important to keep your feet covered too because you lose a lot of, a lot of heat. And you're going to take that sheet, wrap it, and you're going to take, wool is great if you have it, but make sure it's doubled up. Doubled up and you're going to bring it all the way up to your chest and you're going to put your arms inside and then for one hour you are going to lay here and sweat make sure that your head is covered like that okay and I forgot my water so I have to ask somebody to get me some water and you're, I sweat really bad. My sweat, I, I, the sweat rolls off of me. And I'll show you how that, what that looks like. But I have no problem sweating. Okay, I'm going to set my clock for one hour. And then I'll, I'll touch base with you. So I'm going to show you how much I sweat. It's not normal. <laughs> so this is how much I sweat. So... You see people who sweat like this who have cancer. And um, I sweat like this sometimes even in bed. Okay, so um, I'm done. <laughs> so after, you saw how much I was sweating. Um, but after an hour, um, you just simply go grab a shower, clean yourself up, get dressed, and then you're good for the day. Now, when it comes to the cancer protocol, if you're going to go down this road, you should be doing five fever baths in a row. Then you take the weekend off. If it's too hard to endure, uh, then just start with um, three a week. Uh, if you're treating COVID, it's very good if you do them every day for at least three days straight. Um, when it comes to pain and depression and other um, 
um, um, the core morbidities, you can do them every other day, but try to get in at least three. I tell you what, hydrotherapy is is effective. It works. It increases the white blood cells, increases the cell metabolism. It kills cancer. Um, it is one of the best, best inoculations, the best vaccines, the best medicine anybody can ever do for their health. Um, it's very, very effective and very, very safe. I know I look pretty miserable, but I'm glad that I could share it with you, friends, because that is part of my treatment, which has been very, very effective. And soon I'll be able to go over my numbers with you um, to kind of show you some of the proof that's in the pudding on, on some of the things that have changed dramatically with my health that were failing and, 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 and in those areas have completely turned around. All right, God bless. And, and thanks for always watching and praying. I love you guys.